So what's the deal with UV filters? Well, a lot like the circular polarizing filters and the ND filters, these attach to the front element of your lens, and they are a little bit different. So these will help with ultraviolet light coming in through your lens and hitting your sensor, which actually isn't as much of a big deal as maybe it used to be back in the days of shooting film. If you still shoot film, these can be really, really useful, but a lot of sensors now have a UV filter already on there. So why would you have one of these? Well, actually, there's a very, very good reason. Like I say, it attaches to the front element of your lens and they are a fantastic protective measure for your lens. Now, obviously different lenses cost different amounts, but especially if you've spent a decent amount of money on a lens, having one of these on the front really, really helps to protect that front element. And it is a lot easier and a lot cheaper to replace one of these than to replace a lens. Now it's easy to think nothing's ever gonna happen, you're gonna take really good care of that lens. But let's think about just cleaning, for example. It's much easier to take this off the lens and give this a clean than it is to clean that front element. When you're cleaning, every now and then you could move dust around and actually scratch something. Well, I'd much rather scratch one of these than scratch the front element of my lens. As careful as you might be, accidents do happen. I've certainly dropped lenses in the past. I've even had a whole camera and tripod fall over in the wind before, and it hit straight on to the front element of the lens. Fortunately, I had one of these on there. Smashed, lens was fine. So I'd always prefer to have one of these on my lens. Now, some people will tell you that these UV filters can make the image a little bit softer. And that can be true depending on what kind of one you go for. You wouldn't want to spend a thousand pounds on a lens, and 10 pounds on a UV filter to stick in front of it, because of course you are gonna be shooting through the glass on here. So you wanna make sure you get a decent one. I personally use Hoya UV filters along with the ND filters and the polarizing filters as well. Hoya kindly sent us some, I actually have my own already, so I didn't actually necessarily need them, but they are a great thing to have whether you shoot video, whether you shoot photography, whatever it might be, really any type, it never hurts to have a little bit of protection on the front of that lens. Now you can check out some links for some Hoya UV filters down in the description. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. But until next time, as always, thanks for watching.